lubrication of the main engine is responsible for lubricating and cooling the internal parts, which are moving relative to each other creating friction and heat. Lubrication not only provides cooling but also the removes of any debris or impurities. In this video, we are going to see the main lubricating oil system. The main lubricating oil system fulfills the following functions. The system cools the piston. The system lubricates the main bearings. The crosshead bearings. The crosshead guides. The crank pin bearings. The thrust bearings. and the camshaft drives. The system supplies oil to the axial dampers to dampen the shaft generated axial vibration. Let us see the various components in the main lubrication system and how the lube oil flows from one component to another. Main engine lube oil sump tank is located under the engine in the double bottom and is surrounded by coffer dams. A sounding pipe to know the level of lube oil in the sump is provided. A sounding pipe is provided also for cofferdam to know if there is any leakage of oil from the sump to the cofferdam. Cofferdam needs to be inspected on regular basis to know any signs of leakages. The main engine lube oil sump is also fitted with a level gauge. The sounding pipe is fitted on top with a self-closing cock. The sump is fitted with an air vent pipe for breathing. A steam heating coil to maintain lube oil temperature when engine is stopped. Manhole doors are provided for access into the sump for cleaning and inspection. Manhole doors are provided also for cofferdam. The main lube oil pump sucks the oil from the sump via a valve and a duplex strainer fitted at the suction side of the pump. The duplex strainer filters the coarse particles to protect the pump. The main lube oil pumps are either of centrifugal type or of positive displacement type such as screw pumps. The pumps are fitted inside the sump submerged under oil if they are centrifugal. The main lubrication system is supplied by one of two pumps, one of which will be operating, and the other is on standby, set for automatic cut and should there be a lubricating oil pressure reduction. The main lube oil pumps take their suction from the main engine sump tank and discharge oil via the main lube oil cooler, which takes away the heat. The lube oil cooler can be either of shell and tube type or plate type. The lube oil cooler is cooled either by the low temperature central cooling freshwater system or by the seawater system. A three-way temperature regulating valve is fitted across the cooler to regulate the quantity of lube oil passing through the cooler in such a way that maintains the temperature of so lube oil entering the engine at a set constant level. From the cooler, the oil flows to an automatic back flushing filter. When the filter elements are clogged, the filtered oil from some of the elements is made to pass through other clogged elements in the opposite direction to remove the debris attached to the filter elements thereby facilitating cleaning of the filter elements without the need for dismantling of the filter. The back flushed oil flows through this drain line to a lube oil drain tank. The solenoid operated valve fitted in the drain line opens only while back flushing operation. To facilitate this back flushing process automatically, a differential pressure switch is fitted, which senses high differential pressure across the filter when clogged and initiates the back flushing cycle. Due to this process, the differential pressure across the filter reduces and the flow rate of lube oil to the engine increases. The back flushing controller starts the back flushing cycle and brings the filter element one by one for back flushing with the help of the motor fitted on top. After the back flushing filter, the lube oil enters two manifolds. One manifold supplies oil to the main bearings. the chain case,
and the thrust bearing. Another manifold supplies oil for cooling the piston. and lubricating the cross shed bearings. The cross shed guides and the crank pin bearings. This is made possible by having either a telescopic pipe in some engine or a swinging arm arrangement in some other engines attached to the cross shed. The oil after lubrication of various bearings and cooling of the piston drops into the crankcase from where it drains into the sump. Let us now see the various instruments fitted in the system. A compound gauge at the suction side of the pump. A pressure gauge at the discharge side of the pump. A pressure switch at the discharge side of the pump to give low pump discharge pressure alarm and to start the standby pump automatically. A thermometer at the oil inlet to the cooler. A thermometer at the oil outlet from the cooler. A thermometer at the lube oil inlet manifold. It's a pressure gauge at the manifold. pressure switch to give system lube oil low pressure alarm. A pressure switch to shut down the engine at extra low lub oil pressure. Temperature gauges for all main bearings. Thermometers at the lube oil outlet from the piston cooling oil. Thermometer for the thrust bearing. A temperature switch to shut down the engine at extra high temperature of thrust bearing. The oil mist sensor, fitted in each unit crankcase, communicates the oil mist density to the oil mist detector controller unit. The controller unit continuously shows the oil mist concentration of all units and raises the alarm if the concentration exceeds the preset value. If required, the engine is slowed down thereby preventing crankcase explosion. Hope this video helped you in understanding the main lubrication system provided for the main engine. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content.